Vai. You sit down. So we are meeting Arpit Gupta, right? And uh, where is your hometown? My hometown is in Gorakhpur, Uttar Pradesh. You stay there? Yeah. You do stay there? Yes. Abhi aap yaha par kaha rehte? Um, I, I have come from there only. Okay, from straight Gorakhpur. from there. There is a train from there? Yes. Train? Okay. So you are good at English? Yes ma'am. Okay. So now tell me, we are talking about uh, renewable, you know, alternative uses of energy. Okay, which are renewable and they are alternative. They are not coal. So tell me some examples. Solar energy, wind energy, tidal energy, uh, there is geothermal energy also. And, and there are some new uh, emerging fields uh, of the energy. Uh, for, for example, ocean thermal energy is also being explored. Yeah. So these wind are some energy. examples. Yeah, wind energy, solar energy, yeah. and uh, some of the new avenues also. Like ocean and thermal energy. Nuclear? Nuclear? Yeah, nuclear energy is uh, one of the sources which is uh, not considered as renewable because it consumes atoms. Okay. So, which is the uh, which is the uranium that is used in nuclear power? Uh, um, uranium uh, 235 is generally used. Hmm. Uh, then it produces plutonium, which okay. is fissile material, and then it goes on to produce the uh, energy which is needed for us to produce okay. electricity. And do they use uranium 238 also or only 235? Ma'am, it can be used, uh, yeah, but it has to be made fissile. So, there is a mixture of plutonium uh, used and then it, it it can be used as a fissile material. Both can be used, 235 yeah. and 238, right? Ma'am, if it is fissile, it okay. depends on the like viability. If it, if, it is, if it can be made fissile, it can be used. Then it can be used. Okay. So, we are facing a coronavirus XZ. Have you heard? Yes, ma'am. So, where is it found recently? Um, uh, recently, it was found in Mumbai. Uh, uh, BMC, the local municipal corporation, has confirmed uh, that it is the first case of uh, ZE. This one? Yes. Has it spread or it's still stuck with one case? Um, uh, till today, it, is, uh, it has only stuck one. with only one. Uh, okay. Actually, Health Ministry is confirming uh, some other cases. So, we have not got any checking. report till now. Yeah. So, tell me about Shanghai. Have you heard about Shanghai? Yes. So, they had a lot of this coronavirus whatever variety. So, what have they done in ma'am, China? Ma'am, they are, uh, they, what they are doing is they are at mass scale, they are uh, like, uh, have immunized people already, they are uh, picking up people uh, who are actually infected and they are uh, making them isolated. For example, they are in fact picking up children also, children or Everyone. elder, yeah, elders and they are uh, isolating them uh, like forcefully. So, because they want to contain this uh, to mm-hmm. some place. Right. So, you tell me that uh, this, uh, have you heard about hydrogen as a fuel, hydrogen? So, is it rampant in India or there are very one or two cases, hydrogen use? Mm, uh, It is not rampant as of now. uh, There are some of the projects going on. Uh, There has been one of the projects uh, which has been uh, recently announced in Ladakh and also a national hydrogen energy mission is being planned. Okay. So, uh, probably that would make it uh, at a level, relevant level or significant levels. Currently, it is not being used. Okay. So, suppose we use hydrogen as a power, then uh, we'll run cars. What will we run? Buses? Yes, we can run buses. We also. can run buses. We can run cars. cars. And one of our ministers travelled in that vehicle recently. Yes. Have you read about that? You have. Yes, I read you about read. that. Okay, that's all right. So, I am told that uh, they are going to blend this hydrogen, green hydrogen, whatever they call it, as a, with the piped gas. Yes, with ma'am. the gas we use, they are going to blend and then use it. So, there will be less whatever, you tell me. Yes, ma'am, there will be less emissions also. Mm-hmm. And uh, what uh, they are planning is, since hydrogen is not available at a mass scale right now, mm-hmm. they are thinking that okay. since we have uh, present avenues of say LPG or CNG, by blending them with hydrogen, uh, we can also like modify the uh, like engine uses because engine efficiency increases, mm-hmm. and then again uh, we can reduce our emissions, which is our uh, target. To reduce have, the emission and yeah, create a more emission. purer atmosphere. Yeah, purer right? atmosphere. So please, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Sir. So mathematics is your optional subject, right? Yes, sir. So Albert Einstein famously said compound interest 
is the eighth wonder of the world. So I would like to know your comments on the same. Uh, sir, uh, it was said that it is the eighth wonder because uh, uh, what happens in compound interest is it goes on increasing uh, over the principal value in uh, in a compounding way. For example, if we put simple interest on something, it goes on to increase linearly. But if we put compound interest on something, it goes on to ex increase exponentially after some time. So that's why he said it's a, it is a eighth wonder. Because in a moment of time, it might, uh, for example, if we borrow 100 rupee from someone, in a moment of time, it might increase to 200 or 250. So, because it, it does not depend more on base, it more depends more on the time, basically, the duration. That's why it is called uh, the 8th wonder. Yes, so there is more to it. You just explain the mathematical portion of it. Anyways, uh, how do you use mathematics in daily life? Sir, in mathematics, uh, in daily life, uh, we use it every day when we go to shop something. Okay. When we go to shop something, in fact, when we are doing our uh, uh, exercises, okay. when we count uh, the number of exercises, we see the timings uh, when we come here, when we come uh, go there, go anywhere. In each and every part of uh, part of our uh, daily routine, there is some of the mathematics hidden. So. It, it is it has been discovered through some of the mathematical formulas but there is much more to it which is exactly uh, exactly not being discovered it is uh, still being discovered you are from uttar pradesh yes sir okay. so uh, tell uh, us something about the uh, 1 trillion dollar economy target of uttar pradesh so it was recently announced uh, that uh, Uttar Pradesh uh, will be uh, contributing one dollar one trillion uh, economy and would uh, by uh, probably 2025 or 2030 and the government has not exactly announced the target uh, by when they are going to achieve it but uh, it is said that the like motive to make India dollar five trillion economy would be uh, like uh, aggravated through UP which is going to play in the key key role. So, uh, some of the initiatives under it have been uh, the defense corridor recently launched in Bundelkhand and uh, some of the industrial corridors, uh, many of the infrastructural projects like expressways have also been uh, conduct, uh, made there, constructed there and uh, ODOP that is the one district one product scheme is also going on and there has been a lot of uh, infrastructure development plus there have been lots of investment uh, projects. And there have been lots of MEU, for uh, example, IKEA and Samsung are going to open some plants. Uh, government PC PSUs are also contributing. So all of these would uh, like make uh, Uttar Pradesh a dollar one trillion economy. Uh, it is expected. And also the uses of migrant workers uh, from UP, which uh, who are 23 lakhs in number. So that big number is going to be used uh, through uh, the, uh, the skill mapping so that they can contribute towards uh, making a one trillion dollar economy. Uh, in UP and um, we are uh, expecting to move, uh, go up to that by four or five years. Uh, I would like to know your view on the population control bill of Uttar Pradesh. So, uh, I personally feel that population control bill uh, is something which was desirable but the form in which it was presented in UP is uh, something of a penalizing which is not required as of now since uh, our national family health survey 5 has said that uh, we are already below our total fertility rate of 2.1 and uh, we are already uh, going to reduce our population after 2040 uh, so i don't think there is uh, a something called penalization should uh, go on in up yes uh, there is one thing there is a uh, cushion that government can provide and that is in the form of incentive so, I think uh, bill should be a bit tweaked to incentivize those who are doing good work rather than penalizing those who are doing bad work. So, in that way, it would create a mass impact also. And since we have seen that a penalizing if, uh, effect has not exactly uh, translated to the ground level in our 1970s sterilization efforts also. So, I think this would be a way forward. Okay. And my last question is, why you are so keen to join civil services? So, uh, Personally, uh, I have been inclined towards the services since my childhood, since I have been seeing officers uh, coming. Uh, there was a government school near my home. So I have seen uh, two, three officers coming there and they were inspecting something. 
and i used to like uh, since my childhood used to be very curious about it like how, why they are coming here who are they so uh, till my learning uh, till my class 10th uh, through this learning i came to know that these are the officers who are actually looking uh, after the education system of this country so this was something inspiring because at that time uh, what my learning of the whole system was the education i did not know beyond that after that when i uh, like uh, grew up and then uh, i reached 12th and then again in college i came to know that civil servants perform multiple roles diversity of roles which can create uh, like incremental effect on the society so uh, i thought this could be an avenue where i could be going and also sir it provides uh, a job security it provides uh, a, a social status which is unparalleled so uh, again if, if i am joining the services uh, to uh, to perceive to practice my service motive it does not compromise my job or anything so that helps me balance my work and again my life personal life also thank you thank you sir Doctor, the Japanese encephalitis yes, has been endemic to few locations in India, including Gorakh. Yes, sir. Why it is so? Sir, uh, it happens uh, because actually uh, it has been endemic to Gorakhpur and Mujafferpur areas. Yes. So, sir, there is a kind of uh, lychee. Uh, uh, it, uh, it kind of a lychee. It's a, a fruit. It is uh, grown in Mujafferpur area. Mujafferpur area. Sorry, Mujafferpur area. So what happens is that uh, people, uh, the kids, there are uh, generally empty uh, stomach. Okay, they are hungry. So if they eat that kind of food or that particular uh, type of lychee, what happens is that they uh, start like uh, feeling feverish, and that fever uh, starts growing, and that exactly came to be called Japanese encephalitis because that virus was spreading through that source. This so that is, it is more common among children, I believe. Yes, sir. It is more common amongst children, and that also below 15 years of age. Mm. So that was one uh, uh, one of the reasons uh, why it spread in that area was that uh, fruit, and one of the reasons was because that area is, uh, sir, a bit backward. If you see, and the uh, the kids there are uh, not very empowered. Uh, many of them go hungry. Many of them uh, work as a child labor. So what happens is that their uh, daily uh, like. Uh, eat, uh, eating daily food is not that good, so the compounding effect is seen on them. Now, uh, any any uh, improvement in that condition? Yes, sir. There is a, a lot of improvement. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, AIMS uh, Gorakhpur was opened because of this only, mm -hmm. and now we can see uh, there are negligible cases of Japanese encephalitis in last two years. Mm -hmm. If uh, we see the data, like. Uh, there has been not even 5% of the cases which were in 2017 and 2018 after the opening of AIMS. Mm -hmm. So, there is a remarkable improvement. Do you have heard of this uh, ODOP, one district, one product mm -hmm. in UP? What is the product for uh, Gorakhpur? It's terracotta art. Terracotta. Any specific reason why terracotta is you know, popular there? Any, any specific reason? Yes, there is one of the reason uh, why terracotta is popular there is because terracotta has been practiced there since a long time. Uh, in fact, uh, one art Madhubani painting which has also got the GI tag, it is uh, actually made with the, uh, that uh, mud only, that soil only and that soil has been uh, the integral part of our lives in, in yeah. Eastern UP. Yeah. And in Gorakhpur, yeah. yes, uh, that uh, that has been uh, basically okay, integral good. part of our life. Right. So that has been that's why terracotta okay, has been good. Now you see, fifty percent, more than fifty-five percent of uh, Indian population is uh, engaged in agriculture, whereas its contribution to GDP is only eighteen, yes. approximately eighteen percent. So are you happy with the situation, or you would like to change this? Uh, I think I would like to change it. I believe uh, that uh, changing the situation is a lot important because still uh, there is a lot of population in our country which is directly dependent on the agriculture and they are not having skills also which can upgrade them to services sector or mm -hmm. industry sector. And also industries are not, not developing at that scale which can like uh, absorb all the population from agriculture. We have seen disguised agriculture is also, uh, disguised unemployment in agriculture is also there. So I think I believe that there is a need to, uh, in fact, reinvigorate agriculture. We have seen that in 2020, when COVID, locked, uh, COVID hit India, the agriculture was the sector which uh, 
like boost our uh, economic growth that mm-hmm. was the only sector which showed the positive mm-hmm. growth mm-hmm. so that is a sector having a lot of experience in in fact in up we have the most uh, uh, like fertile uh, arable land in uh, the whole country uh, india is having a fertile uh, land of like more than 100 million hectares in, and it is more than china also in fact we are having the largest hectare, arable uh, fertile land in the mm-hmm. world so obviously we are having lots of opportunities and untapped potential in agriculture. Okay. So India is assuming the G20 presidency next year. Yes, sir. So how do you think we can use this opportunity to our advantage? Uh, I think we can uh, use G20 as a platform in multiple multi-dimensional way to push our uh, aspirations. First of all, uh, the most important thing in G20 should be to uh, build a resilient economy, to build back better, uh, since all the economies at a global level are actually going down. India can be that player which can replace China, in fact, which can be the player which, which will be emerging if China goes down, because uh, every country is trying to diversify its supply chains because of the COVID disruptions. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, this is one of the uh, dimension and then there are many dimensions like uh, UNSC reforms. Uh, United Nations Security Council see it is one of the things India has been pursuing for a long time and I think G20 can play a role in that. Again, uh, one more important thing is uh, our uh, tax reforms which we need, tax treaties because we lose a lot of revenue due to that. So, thank you. Thank you, sir. So, Arpit, uh, UP has just uh, finished with the elections. Yes, sir. So, did you take part in the election? Yes, sir. I took part in the election. So, what are the machines uh, which are used for the polling uh, compartments? EVMs, electronic voting machines. And, uh, and uh, in some booths, uh, VV Pat is also used. In some, the ones that you went to, yes, sir. They were not. Have? They, they, they did have. Uh, so, uh, how are you polling some? Because uh, it has not been uh, VV Pat has not been uh, like kept at all the booths because. Election Commission has said that uh, it 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 is not uh, like possible to uh, keep keep uh, the VVPAT machines at all the booths. Oh, you you heard someone saying you heard some no uh, you read somewhere sir I read some uh, I'm really, really sorry actually I did get confused VVPAT is there but VVPAT is not counted at every place I'm really sorry. Okay. So tell me VVPAT is it a electronic machine or a mechanical machine? Sir VVPAT is an electronic machine. What makes it uh, look like electronic? So because uh, it performs uh, its act which is of printing. That printing act is performed uh, through electronic means. There is a like a required, uh, there is an energy input given and then only it gives the output as a uh, the mark the mark name or uh, the symbol which you have voted for. So the, even the rotor, voter starts when you give electricity then only a mechanical machine starts yes sir i agree in fact uh, so the what electric is the special electronic uh, thing signal that is that is that you are calling it as a, a, a mechanic uh, uh, sir electronic. we can call uh, call it uh, mechanical in some way because uh, there are some of the mechanical concepts being used but overall it is uh, electronic machine for example an electric motor is also uh, mechanical if we see in a perspective that it rotates it converts energy so but if you have a printer at home, yes, sir. So you click the button and it prints. Yes, sir. You, is is it an electronic activity? Yes, sir. I I think I believe this, it is an electronic activity. Okay, now tell me, uh, uh, in the elections, suppose you are the district magistrate of, you know, DEO, district election officer. And uh, <clears throat> you saw that someone, some miscreants uh, had captured the booth and they vitiated the elections by, you know, pressing the buttons and then they ran away. And the police or, you know, the magistrate, whoever they were present, they caught him. And you have put them behind the bars. Now you got a call. You get a call from the top uh, political position of the state that you release him, he will, he is from our party to release him. Now, what is going to be your stand? Sir, first of all, uh, during elections, I am not working against any political party. I am, uh, I am not working, uh, in fact, in the rule of a political party, I am, be, I am serving under election commission. 
तो इलेक्शन कमीशन इज अ सोल अथॉरिटी विच कैन गिव डायरेक्शन ऑन एनी थिंग रिलेटेड टू इलेक्शन तो इफ समन इज डूइंग समथिंग लाइक दिस इट इज अ लॉ एंड ऑर्डर इशू एंड इट इज अ क्राइम अंडर आर पी ए रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ पीपल एक्ट इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी वन तो इट मस्ट बी रिपोर्टेड ड्यूली एंड द एक्शन हैज टू बी टेकन इन अकॉर्डिंग टू द गाइडलाइंस इशूड बाई इलेक्शन कमीशन इन द कंडक्ट ऑफ इलेक्शन रूलिंग पार्टी और you election day is over you are back under the the government now a gunda you catch a gunda and gunda has some affiliation with some ruling party and again you get a call you release him you catch him under some offense ipc offense now what would you do again it's a law and order issue so there is no role of uh, i feel i believe there is no role of uh, Uh, executive directly in a law and order issue executive should be supporting us because we are uh, trying to create a stable situation in the society through following the due process of like, law which executive you are talking about the political executive who is at the helm who is uh, the ruling po- political party uh, i think they have also have a responsibility to like uh, create a good law and order situation so we will release him so i i'll not release him because sir he or she has a broken the law so the law should follow its due course so you will tell the political the minister that i can't release him sir if uh, he wants me to release him i'll uh, ask uh, him uh, in a written uh, manner in in a procedural form he is in writing signs yeah if if he signs uh, and gives it to me and my senior also forwards to me i'll write a no, decent senior, you are the dm you are competent so i'll uh, i'll do uh, i'll write my dissenting note that i have not issued this order to uh, release so the who person. has to be that person who uh, he writes and you will release him so i think in law and order so suppose the tribal minister of your state writes release him sir no one is ever rule of law i believe so if i am someone who is sitting on a post uh, which is uh, like holding a position who is uh, who is having the authority to maintain rule of law i should not bow down uh, uh, against anyone uh, whosoever he is because the rule of law is uh, no i am not understanding you said if some minister writes to me in writing and i will write a dissent note and release him yeah if uh, someone writes to me so in that inning that send only yeah in that way if the minister does does the follows the rule of law i'll uh, does the the procedural the procedural aspect of uh, law i'll release him with a dissenting note that this is not my decision to release this is the decision but it was taken. not his decision he is not competent under law so uh, if uh, this the decision is going to be mine i'll not release him it has to be your decision i no, sir no uh, in in any way then i'll not release him because because if the decision is going to be taken by me i being on a post which has the authority to maintain rule of law i think rule of law is supreme okay you are uh, uh, with financial market analysis you have been doing right yes sir now <clears throat> somebody comes to you for advice so arpit should i uh, put my money in stocks or cryptocurrency or fd or gold at in today's time real time what is going to be your advice to him so my personal advice uh, to that person would be depending on the person's risk uh, uh, carrying capacity there is a possibility that person is a bit risk averse he is not a millionaire he is he is just a common man who has some money from uh, pension or you know he has got some money from the government after retirement so in my personal opinion then he or she should put money in uh, fds because they are safest option available and since it is very hard earned money and it is a pension amount which if lost will like can create okay, a, next to that it, after that right next to that it would be gold and then next to that it would be stocks and cryptocurrency i'll not advise anyone to you know, so it should not be in okay now account. another student comes to you i mean a young executive comes who wants to make money very fast what do you advise Sir, I'll uh, try to uh, like um, weigh his risk carrying capacity, his or her risk cap- uh, carrying capacity. I think uh, then he or she can go for stocks because uh, then because since uh, again India's market is booming, so if uh, one invests in stocks, there Next, is a lot of risk. Stocks. After stocks, I'll suggest gold because that is going to be uh, that is going to give um, uh, more profits than any other way, and but having a lot of risk. Okay. 
सो थैंक यू You listen carefully, and then you try and assess what to say. So overall, you are a very good candidate, and you have a variety of interest in your area. Sir, tell me. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, Personality-wise, uh, you are good. So, let me focus on the scope for improvement points. When is your interview? Uh, my interview is in on twentieth of May. Okay. Ample time. Of- you have ample time, and this is your first interview, yes, right? Sir, yes. Sir. Okay. Yes. So we started with uh, use of mathematics in daily life. Answer was good. Compound interest. You could your answer was very very generic, very generic. So read more on it. Compound interest can make poor people millionaires also. It teaches us patience also. You read on this. Then uh, I asked you on one trillion dollar economic question on UP. It was very longish. I could not ask you many questions because of your longish answers initially. And in the civil services uh, answer, why see you again took two to three minutes. So you look childhood dream, government school, inspection, education system, roles, job security, all these points. So avoid uh, the government school example and childhood example. Just the later uh, part of the answer was correct. Initially, please avoid this childhood and inspection and everything. That's from my side. Well, I just yes, I agree with you. The your personal member on your observation. You are a very good candidate. Your personality very balanced, pleasant. It's all. आपका कन्वर्सेशन घर में रहे आप तो काफी अच्छा लग रहा था और एक दो छोटे छोटे पॉइंट्स हैं वैसे मेरे क्वेश्चन तो आपने अच्छे से हैंडल किया ये जैपनीज सिविल एंड सिविलाइटीज भी और ये एग्रीकल्चर वाला भी ठीक है आपका तो आपने तो थोड़ा सा मैन यू लिसन टू द क्वेश्चन थोड़ा सा हेड को ज्यादा हिलाते हैं ऐसे ऐसे करते हैं वो थोड़ा अवॉइड किया थोड़ा सॉरी थोड़ा बहुत हिलता है बट आप मुझे लगा थोड़ा सा ज्यादा क्यों सर आपको आप नोट किया वो बोलते हो तो ठीक लगता है मतलब बुरा नहीं लगता बट बाई लिस्टिंग इतना घूम सिर्फ घुमाने की जरूरत नहीं है आप कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन दर्सन की क्वेश्चन मतलब आप पूरा एक ऑसिलेट कर रहा था आपका सिर सबको देख रहे थे आप मतलब नहीं ये ये जय भी रहे थे सबकी तरफ आपका क्वेश्चन था एक मेरी भी तरफ थे वो भी दोनों चीजें कर सर वो एक्चुअली मतलब ये दिस वॉज माई फर्स्ट मॉक तो एक्चुअली ये इस वजह से भी था क्योंकि मैंने ऑनलाइन जो भी मॉक्स देखे थे वहाँ पे इन लास्ट टेन मिनट्स रिव्यू ऐसा बोल रहे थे कि आप सबको नहीं देख रहे थे तो दैट्स वाई मैं ये चीज आप देखो बहुत ज्यादा देख रहे अच्छा अच्छा ठीक है तो सुनते हुए जैसे मैं क्वेश्चन कर रहा हूँ तो उसमें तो आप हंड्रेड परसेंट मुझे देखिए बोलते हुए जो है वो अगर आपका लोनली आंसर है तब आंसर है तब तो आप वहाँ देख सकते हैं अगर शॉर्ट रिप्लाई तो आप मुझे देखें मान लीजिए आप एक्सप्लेन करने लगे कुछ बीच में आप दस पंद्रह परसेंट वो भी ज्यादा दस पंद्रह परसेंट बीस परसेंट तक आप दूसरों को भी देख सकते हैं बट दैट इज ओनली वाई रिप्लाई जो क्वेश्चन मैं कर रहा हूं आपसे उसमें तो आप मुझे ही देखेंगे उसमें आप दूसरों को नहीं देखेंगे बिकॉज आई एम स्पीकिंग यू शुड लिसन टू मी अटेंटिवली और दूसरा आप सिर्फ सुनते हो ना वैसे भी ऐसे भी जा रहे थोड़ा बहुत ज्यादा लगे वो आपको और एक आपका ये जो बार बार आप या या बोल रहे थे या 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 नहीं बोला ठीक है ठीक है तो मतलब वही बैच से क्या होगा कि थोड़ा सा नर्वस फील कर रहा था मैं तो काइंड ऑफ वो निकल जा रहा था बिकॉज ठीक है वो तो बोला ये सर निकला या काइंड काइंड ऑफ ऑफ सर दो तीन बार हाँ दो तीन बार यस निकला था बट मतलब वो आदत की वजह से इंटरव्यू बोर्ड में आप थर्टी मिनट जो होंगे ना कुछ तो आप नेचुरल रहेंगे कुछ आपको आर्टिफिशियली भी क्रिएट करना पड़ेगा आप नेचुरल आ गए तो पता नहीं आप पचानवे घुरते हुए पहुंच जाओ की सर मैं तो ऐसे घर में रहता हूँ सो यू हैव टू 
यू हैव टू बी पुट योर बेस्ट फुट फॉरवर्ड है ना जॉब के लिए लेकिन वो काफी इनफॉर्मल था मुझे पता भी नहीं चल रहा था की आई वॉज शेकिंग माई हेड सो आप इंटरव्यू में जा रहे हो तो थोड़ा ध्यान रखो है ना ठीक है मुझे तो बस यही कहना है की तुम वास्तव में उसको छोड़ोगे या डर के नहीं छोड़ोगे फिर कंफ्यूज क्यों हुए नहीं कंफ्यूज नहीं हुआ आई थॉट ना बिकॉज सर क्वेश्चन की टोन यू चेंज ना तो आई थॉट कि यू आर आस्किंग कि He has issued an order, and you have to Are follow it? that order. I never said this. No. 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 ये मरना है क्या अर्पित ना छोड़ के स्टैंड और सोच के कि मैं यहाँ से बोला गया है नहीं सर मंत्री जो लोग इस तरह से छुड़वाने लगे अगर आपका ये चीज मैंने सीधा पूछ लिया कि भी छोड़ोगे कि नहीं छोड़ोगे नहीं छोड़ोगे तो वो ट्रांसफर कर देगा तुम्हें That has been happening to uh, all, like many of us, like many of the officers. Are, UP वाले तो घूमते ही रहते हैं तो there is no issue. There is no issue if uh, one trust. Must be stand there. कहीं भी जाऊँगा sir, I'll serve. मतलब be stand there. I have to be there. अगर कोई पूछ भी सकता है कि भाई UP भी ये stand there है कि sir, these are these are hazards of the services, and I'm I'm very well aware of the hazards, and uh, I'm I'm ready to face anything as long as I'm right. I have nothing to fear. स्टॉक वाला अच्छा जवाब दिया आपने दोनों के लिए अलग अलग आधार होगा और ईवीएम पे थोड़ा सा फॉल्टर कर गए सर मैं कंफ्यूज हो गया था एक्चुअली आई थॉट ना कि वो ईवीएम्स काउंट होते हैं सो आई सब मतलब वही सब कॉन्शियसली एट दैट पॉइंट आई वाज लाइक वेरी नर्वस जो आपने पूछा तो आई वाज वेरी नर्वस था आई वाज द फोर्थ मेंबर सो दैट ओनली बिकॉज़ क्या हुआ ना कि द क्वेश्चन वाज कि यू आर रिएक्शन आपको से डर गए या मेरे मास्क से डर गए प्रोबेबली प्रोबेबली मास्क बिकॉज़ मैं हटा देता तो शायद आप थोड़े से साइज थोड़ा कंफर्टेबल होता तो वो क्या हुआ ना आई वाज अ बिग कैमर के ना वहां मेंबर को कि सर अपना मास्क हटाओ बाद में दे विल नॉट बी कीपिंग अ फीडबैक सेशन तो हां तो मैं ये तुमने अच्छा कहा अगर तुम्हारा ये फीडबैक सेशन नहीं होता तो तुम्हारे अभी जो मार्क्स मैडम बताएंगी उससे कम से कम मैं पांच सात परसेंट कम कर पाता केवल इस वजह से कि हमने जो सुना वो ही मान के चल रहे नहीं सर मैं कि आप तो डर हो और ऐसी पर्सनैलिटी वाला ऐसा आदमी तो डीम बनेगा तो नजर नहीं क्या होगा यही हुआ ना फीलिंग यही जाएगी ना बट क्योंकि फीडबैक था तो इसलिए आपने क्लियर कर दिया सॉरी सर ओवरऑल आपने बहुत अच्छा किया 
और पढ़ो जरा सा इलेक्ट्रिकल जो आपका जो मैकेनिकल है टेक्नोलॉजी पढ़ो पूरी आई आई टी की हो ना इसलिए एक्सपेक्टेशन बहुत ज्यादा हो सर उसका आंसर मुझे पूछना था कि इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइस किसका वीवीपैट इज ए मैकेनिकल इट्स प्रिंटर मतलब इलेक्ट्रॉनिक वोटिंग मशीन भी कैलकुलेटर है आपको इलेक्ट्रॉनिक है कैलकुलेटर एड करता रहता है वो हैक कर सकते हो उसको कमान दे सकते हो वो फिर भी उसको इलेक्ट्रॉनिक बोला मैं डिस्प्यूट नहीं करना चाहूंगा बट वीवीपैट इज अ मैकेनिकल मशीन वो जो वहां टू दिखता है वो उसको छाप देता है इट्स अ प्रिंटर एंड दैट इज वाई इट गोज बैड नो इन इन पोल डे वीवीपैट जो है वो ज्यादा खराब होती है क्योंकि मैकेनिकल है कागज फंस जाता है उसका कभी वो कटती नहीं है In fact, when I went for the voting, it happened. Ah. Machine broke. Gayi thi. Machine broke. Gayi thi, and then five ten minutes, they stopped. Ka, and then replace, they replaced. So, this was the thing. I did not even. It's a printer. Put it on it. 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 Put it on in my conversation in uh, at many of the times i used i think or i believe Not so correct. do you think uh, which uh, which word should i use at that place in my opinion to sir when i think or to sir kya bol i believe i believe dekho as i have done you are you are when you are asked to give your opinion aap bataiye what are your views sir i am of the view yeah i am of the opinion view is the best ओपिनियन तो होता है आप किसी को देने के लिए ओपाइन व्यू होता है सुन लो जिसको सुनना है सुने मेरा व्यू है ये इट्स मोर यू नो ज्यादा ब्रॉड इन ब्रॉड उसका वो है इन माय व्यू दिस स्टेप इज नॉट गुड या दिस स्टेप इज गुड आई थिंक जितना कम हो स्पेशली उन क्वेश्चन में जिसमें सीधे आपसे पूछा जा रहा हो कि ईवीएम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक है या मैकेनिकल सर आई थिंक एज फार एज आई नो As far as my knowledge goes, subject to my limited knowledge, <laughs> this is an electronic machine. ये सब avoid करो. अपना confidence level को ये मत दिखाओ लोगों को प्रदर्शित मत करो कि मैं doubtful हूँ. तो वो छूटते ही कहेंगे इसको पता नहीं. Mm-hmm. और तो क्या मार रहा है? Mm-hmm. अगर वो गलत कहेंगे तो मान लो भाई अच्छा sorry sir I I will read. बस कदम. पर पहले ही आप उसको अपने आप को प्रियम कर रहे हो कि ये मैं तो कुछ गलत ही बोलने जा रहा हूं आई थिंक और आई यू नो मत करो केवल ओपिनियन जब पूछी जाए देन यूज दैट क्लॉज ठीक है ना और कुछ पॉइंट मैडम अभी आपका एक महीने से ज्यादा है यस बीस मई को बताया ना आप बीस मई को बीस मई को एक महीने से ज्यादा मेरा आपको आधा घंटा आपके पास है इसको इम्प्रूव कर सकते हो आप टू दिस यस सर एक सौ में आप एक महीना दस दिन आपके पास है यस सर डेली आधा घंटा वॉकिंग पे जाइए बट टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेफ्टी ऐसी जगह पे जाइए कोई ट्रैफिक वगैरह ना हो वॉकिंग कीजिए और थोड़ा प्राणायाम योगा कीजिए अगर आप उस दिन आप तो फर्स्ट क्लास चमकना चाहिए थैंक यू सर ओके बरहाल तो मैंने आपको बताया कि आपके इंटरेस्ट हैं आपका वैरायटी है पॉजिटिविटी है कॉन्फिडेंस है और तो तो जो साफ बोल रहे इन्हीं को देखते रहो दूसरा बोल रहा है उनको देखते रहो इधर उधर आगे मत मैम कोई ये मेरा पहला मॉक था तो इस वजह से जो भी लर्निंग मेरी थी वो ऑनलाइन मॉक्स के थ्रू थी दैट्स वाई ये मैंने किया आई ऑल्सो फेरिट की ये बिट ऑकवर्ड होगा क्योंकि जवाब लंबा आंसर ना तब देखना दूसरों की तरफ वो देख लिया आपको थोड़ा बहुत 
तो छोटा सा आंसर देना तो मेज रवि दे दिया आने के एक सिंटेंस का ही है जो जिन्हें क्वेश्चन पूछा उसको दी और आपको नरेट करने लगे कोई चीज तो थोड़ा सा रिटर्न एंगेज होता चलो बहुत कंफ्यूज जाओगे चीजों से अब जाओ टू मेनी थिंग्स विल कंफ्यूज मोर ऑल द बेस्ट छोड़ जाओ